some new content that's coming up with Dead by Daylight. I played this a little bit a while back, when, like nearing when it came out, but now I'm finally coming back to it, and here we are. So I'm gonna be a survivor for a bit here because that's the most fun that I can really think of right now. But I mean, so a little bit about this game. So there's daily rituals and stuff that you have to do. So like. This is mainly for the hunter, but like complete nine sacrifices with the hillbilly, uh, catch seven survivors in bear traps for um, the trapper, chase the survivors for a total of nine minutes with the hillbilly. So, so one thing I have not been back since they had a new killer. So they have uh, new content, the Last Breath chapter. So there's a new, uh, a new monster or killer, whatever along with a new map called the Asylum. So, if you want, you can read over some of this stuff. So, available for free on Steam. So, and a new Survivor. So there's Survivor perks and stuff that go with it. She spent a lot with this stuff. Patch notes, if you want to go over this. But, anyways, a lot of new great stuff going on for this game. Amazing game. I just want to say, and it's it's really great. It's a lot of fun. You go around as a killer, and you try and kill people at, or kill the survivors as they go around and try and get five generators. And with those five generators, like once they have all five generators working and operating, they can go and try and op open a door. We will get right into it. All right. So I personally like being a survivor. This is a lot more fun. And so I have a level three Meg Thomas, but we're gonna check our loadouts here. So we have a new character. Or do I have to download this stuff from Steam? Well, we might have to download this stuff from Steam. So let's look at the different trim beer jig. Gray performance top. Just look at the different items that we have now. Hiking shorts. I personally always like the loose jeans, but I like that new shirt that we have for him. I'm just, I just like going over the customization. If you guys want to see the customization, you know, safety spectacles. Official botanist apron. I do like the gloves that she has with that. And then practical pants. Oh. Oh, that one. Alright, I haven't done much with her. My main character, I guess, right now is Meg Thomas. She's always been, like... I mean, since she is level 3. I like that one. I like the shirts. Okay, I do not like those. Seems like every pants option I don't really like. And then the one that everyone pretty much starts out with, Dwight Fairfield. Oh, he's got a see me now cap. I really like him with a mustache. First job t shirt now. Let's go with that. Alright, let's go with boot cut jeans. I like the pants for this one. Alright, so we're gonna main right now with let's say Claudette. She's pretty cool. Alright. Let's try and join a lobby. They do not lobbies are very difficult to get in. But and again, as I always say as a warning don't come to my channel for good content. I am not good at a lot of games. So, I just play games to have fun and I was about to say we finally joined a lobby, but I forgot that these lobbies take four freaking ever to join. So, as we wait to get into a, a lobby here. So, one thing have you guys been playing Pokemon Go at all? I really get into Pokemon Go a lot because I'm a huge Pokemon fan and I cannot wait for Sun and Moon and I've even gotten my mother into it. You can definitely notice out in the street and stuff though, like when out, you yeah, ever just out walking and stuff, you can, I mean some people it's a little bit difficult but for the most of the thing, you can tell actual Pokemon players like apart from just Pokemon Go players. 
and I actually, I'm Team Mystic, but I saw this one dude, he had a Team Valor shirt on, and it was so cool looking. I would love to get a Team Mystic shirt. God dang, these lobbies though, man. This game is insanely fun to be playing with your friends, like a full lobby of just your friends. And now that you can actually go on and play with just your friends and you don't have to have like a full lobby or anything anymore. If a couple people who watch my videos, I mean I don't I know there's not a lot of people who watch my videos, but if there's someone out there who plays this game, just hit me up on Steam at Silurin. I might edit this just this part out, but I really like just sitting down and like talking to you guys just about stuff, trying to clear stuff up, and like the main reason is why I just haven't been uploading a lot lately, and finally we're in a lobby. But the main reason is just the fact that I have so much going on, and and there's a killer in this lobby already. All right, well, we have to wait on two people to ready up I'm gonna switch to freaking Jake Park get him in here just so we have another person so anyways with you guys just how are your days going how is the past few days going whatever just comment all you want dude like The main thing is, I just want to have a great community, a great friendly community. The littlest biscuit. All right, now we get in. And this game is a very fun game to play in the dark while it's late at night. I mean, granted, it's only like almost nine o'clock right now for me, but it's very fun to play in the dark when it's. You got everything dark and closed off, and there's nothing going on, you know, quiet. Because this game is very creepy, and I especially don't like the dude with the bell. Like, it reminds me of back when I was a kid, I used to watch Courage the Cowardly Dog with the, the slab guy or whatever. He was just like, the slab, you know. That dude always creeped me the frick out. And Coal Tower, the Macmillan Estate. And the dude that like he had like the bells the bell and stuff creeps me the frick out. There should be a generator just like over here. Oh here's another person. I'm just gonna follow them. Okay, why are we going down there? No, I'm not going down. Ah, oh, here's the generator up here. So with these generators, you have to repair them, and as I fail immediately, you have to space whenever one of the skill skill timing events come up. But as I said before, as a survivor, you have to go around and try and avoid the killer and repair these generators. They do take a while to try and get up but if you have two people on them it actually helps a lot and you get the thing repaired pretty quickly trying to get here these skill checks can sometimes get pretty fast yeah I'm having her help me so it's gonna go by a bit faster now All right we got that done Got my little thermostat on my hip. <laughs> I have no idea who the killer is, but I'm gonna work on another generator here. No one is down yet. That is amazingly good. I'm probably just gonna do one round per episode, cause I don't really like. 
uh, like editing a lot of these things just because it kind of gives me time to talk to you guys about stuff. And also the fact that I'm not that great at editing. And I'm not even going to lie about that. But the main reason is with these videos and stuff, like I haven't had a lot of time to do them. And it takes time to record them, edit them, make sure all my software is working correctly. Like, you gotta have the microphone and the visuals right. All oh, the killers nearby, this is not good. See, my heart, the heartbeat starts. Yeah, no, I'm out. Frick. Peace out, yo. Oh, frick, I was walking right towards him. Alright, we're gonna go this way. He's back there. Yeah, no, screw that. I am don't really want to be near the killer right now. We're gonna go this way and try and find another generator. That generator. Generator up here is already fixed. So it's the trapper, though. And you have to watch out for traps around the map. They don't... They're not highlighted or anything. But these barricades, you can pull them down if you're being chased by the killer. Which can really help you. But the killer can either step over the window ledges or he can just straight up break down the barricades. Which can suck. Alright, someone had already fixed that one. Hello, friend. Oh frick. Alright. I got bold, which means that he must have seen me. Frick. I don't like when my... Nope, it's getting louder. And the door's open. It's not open yet, but we can go and open it now. That's what that little thing over there meant, is all of the... Thing, and no one's been injured. Either the team just must be, like, really good, or the killer's just really bad. Alright, I always, like, hiding back here. And just waiting for the killer to get here, because a lot of the time he'll just wait here. But I like waiting for my team just to make sure that everyone gets out. Like, in the case that someone might get injured and put on a hook. Because that's the main thing with the killer, is that if you get slashed twice, then he can pick you up and put you on a hook. You have a chance of wriggling out of his arms and stuff. I don't know where my friend went that was here with me. Are they trying to repair all of the generators? I really don't understand why they would be trying to repair all of them. Literally, none of my friends have been injured. They might just be going to another exit, but... I don't know. Oh, one of my friends got downed. I don't know where they're at, though. They got hit. But the exit is open, so everyone has an opportunity to get out. Oh, here's the hatch. There's one of my friends. See if you're the last survivor and by chance the hunter doesn't get you and he gets all of your friends you have the opportunity to get out through this hatch to escape oh someone got hooked oh, they're over there I want to go get them but I yeah let's go get them I mean I mean there's nothing really to lose you know besides their life 
Yeah, they have the same idea. They're going to go try and help that person. I really don't like that though. I don't like that. I'm heading back this way. Whenever that heartbeat sound starts going, that means that he's close by. Okay. Frick, one of them got bear trapped. I heard it. I feel like he's that way. The door is right here though. I cannot see him. So I don't understand why. I saw him before. I really don't see him. Is the killer AFK? Oh no, he's over there. I think that's him. I mean, everyone's fine. No one's exited yet. I believe he's AFK. Oh, frick. Oh, come on, dude. This killer is really bad. <laughs> Can he not move? See, whilst he's putting down those bear traps, he can't, he can't move. I don't think he can move. So, okay, someone already left, but... He really can't. He can't move. This is a really bad killer. I mean, he's not AFK. He just can't move for whatever reason. He really can't, like, he can't move or anything. Which is weird as frick. Oh frick! Um, I guess he can move now. So I should probably get the frick out of here. But I want to help my friends still. Yeah, okay, um, 
I think we screwed with them enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, I don't understand what was going on there. Like, could he not move for a while there? Or was he just screwing with us? Like, I thought he was AFK at first. Which makes, like, no sense. So it's like... <laughs> could he just not... Okay, well, that was interesting. <laughs> but to this entire game, there's like an upgrading system where you can go and you go through here and like bandages. You just spend your blood. What are they called? Blood, like blood tokens, I think, or something like that. You just go and you spend them. So, yeah, I mean. That's pretty much it guys, so that's the main thing for for this game. So yeah, Dead by Daylight. A really good game. It's a lot of fun. You get together with a few friends, just play, it's it's quite a lot of fun. Alright, well, I guess this is the end of the video. I'm CZ's Got Game Again, or Sillerin, whatever you want to call me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.